Hey everyone, I'm Caitlin Henderson with Mini Beast Wildlife and in this video I'm going to show you how to sex an Australian tarantula. We're going to look at the differences between males and females, what they mean and how you can find out the sex of your tarantula even before it reaches maturity. Once they're mature, it's easy to tell the difference between a male and female tarantula. But to understand what we're looking at, we need to go into a little detail and it's all about making babies. Let's have a look at some adult pairs. You can see already that females are way bigger and heftier than their male counterparts. Their bodies are adapted for egg production, which means a higher body mass and a much chunkier abdomen. Adult males are generally smaller with longer legs and a much lighter build. Their bodies are adapted for mobility because once they mature, they need to leave the bar and do more walking than they've ever done in their lives to find a female to mate with. The other major difference between adult males and females is their reproductive plumbing. And some of this we can see from the outside. When males mature, the structures they use for mating become visible. And male spiders do things a little differently than humans. They mate with their hands. These little legs or arm-like structures at the front of the body are called pedipalps. And in males, they're used to transfer sperm to the female. the sperm in their abdomen, they make a special web called a sperm web, which is kind of like a silk hammock. And they deposit the sperm here, transfer it to their pedipalps, and it's stored there until they later transfer it to a female, if they're lucky. The structures used in the storage and transfer are revealed once the male undergoes his final molt, and that includes the pointy transfer tube called the embolus. Things are a little bit different for females because they'll continue molting for their entire life, but once they reach sexual maturity, they have a functional epigyne for receiving sperm. And there's not much to see on the outside, but you'll be able to spot part of this structure when the female molts. Sexing using a molt is a great way to find out if you have a female tarantula. To use this method, you'll have to wait for your tarantula to molt and then save the exoskeleton or exuvi. It's best to look while the molt is fresh, but if it's gone hard, you can soak it in warm water for about 10 minutes to soften it up. What we're looking for are the sperm storage organs called the spermathesis. This looks like a little flap with two small tabs at the top and the male lacks this flap entirely. The area we're looking at is on the inside of the tarantula's abdomen between the uppermost pair of book lungs, which are these light colored splotches. To find this structure, you'll have to tease open the abdomen here, which can take a little practice. Use some small tweezers or a toothpick. And if you have a way of magnifying the area like a magnifying glass or a camera with macro capability, that can really help you see what you're looking at. Another method you can use for sexing juvenile tarantulas is ventral sexing. While there's not a lot of difference between the sexes from above, sometimes as early as two years old, we start to see differences from underneath. To see these differences, you'll definitely need some kind of magnification. And we photographed our spiders through clear plastic with a macro lens to get these images. So looking at the area between the uppermost pair of book lungs, but on the outside this time, differences are visible. The male has a very tight cluster of dark hairs curling inwards and a bare patch below it. The area around the dense hairs looks a bit like an omega symbol. The female doesn't have this arrangement of hairs because what we're looking at is the development of the epiandrous fusilli, which are specialized hollow hairs that contain ducts that connect to silk glands. And it's these glands that are used in the production of the sperm web when the male is mature. It's all coming together. If you've gone to all the effort of learning how to sex your tarantula, then you might be hoping to breed them. If that's the case, then getting a tarantula of the opposite sex is going to be the logical next step. Unfortunately, most of the larger sex tarantulas available in Australia have been collected directly from the wild for sale, which is really bad guys. And I'm going to tell you why that sucks hard. People that harvest tarantulas from the wild for sale are just thinking about money. And they'll sometimes take huge numbers from a single site and then someone else will come along and do the same thing. And it has potential for massive impacts on the breeding population and the future survival of that species. At Mini Base Wildlife, we're super passionate about combating this problem. And we're so excited to finally be able to offer after years of work, larger sex juveniles for sale on our online store. Ranging from two to three years of age, we've done all that hard work for you of like magnifying it and staring at those tiny details. 
Plus, we have the track record behind us and the dedication to stopping wild collection that we're able to say these are the most ethical large tarantulas you can get your hands on in Australia. That's it for sexing Australian tarantulas. Let us know in the comments how you went and if you've got any questions and make sure to follow the channel for all the best info on keeping Australian invertebrates.